Hello and welcome to another build guide with me James, hope you guys are all doing well and today we're going to be building the castle walls that I built in the island map. Um, back when I did it I did get a few people ask uh, if they'd missed an episode or um, they wanted to see how I managed to get these castle wall structures up so I decided to do a guide on this. Now uh, first things first I'm just going to place a behemoth gate. Hopefully that's lined up this time. Uh, yeah, I think that's about right. We just come around this side. Yeah, that looks good. So I've just chose a place on the centre map where there was two walls, so we could sort of make this effective. And we're also using no mods. Um, in the single player settings, we have changed the structures to um, no clipping, so you can actually put uh, the foundations like through the wall and uh, like you see I can just sort of set it into that behemoth gate just there. So we'll just put these foundations down in a line up to this back wall. Okay, we've just got to the end here, you can see this one has just got a little bit funny, it won't place or snap, so we're going to freehand this one. And I've just put in three foundations around it so I can just sort of gauge the height and where it will click in at the corner as best as I can. Um, I think that's about level. It's just a little bit off to the side but you won't notice once the whole wall's up there. And like I say, it kind of goes into that rock so we won't have a gap. So next uh, we need to use some wooden foundations and we put these in a whole line going across the foundations here. This will uh, allow us to snap some more stone pillars into place. Okay, so it can be a little bit finicky. Sometimes it can go to the outside of the foundation. Okay, so now we're ready to snap our pillars in. Uh, we need to go four high and then leave a space so that they basically click into each corner of the foundation now. We'll repeat this for the whole line. Okay, last one. I don't think it's necessary to put one through that rock there. So, and there we go. So we just use the foundations, the fence foundations and the stone pillars there and next we need to add some walls now you've got a few options here you could flip the stone wall round to the outside now there's some fence posts there you can just snap it round to the opposite side um, but I'm going to use some doors and walls alternating and uh, this gives the effects that we got on the island map but I've used this process quite a few times to build stone walls and I think it looks more effective having a sort of gantry up the top you can imagine walking across so yeah so you could have these the wooden posts on the outside if you wish I've, I've done it that way but we'll keep them on the inside because we're just going to copy what we did in the island build so if you haven't seen that series I built on Herbie Island and there's a little horseshoe and it's just the behemoth gates I used to do a pen to keep my dinos in that we're building here. And that last one will be doors. Okay. So I'm afraid I'm not able to get another one of the Complete the Ark series out this week. I've largely just been gathering hide and gathering metal. We're up to our tech phase and we've just defeated the Megapithecus, but yeah, it's um, it's been a challenge and this week I'm just having to grind out getting metal and hide so there's not really much to report on. So I figured we'd just get another build episode done. As you guys have really said that you've enjoyed these. Okay, so yeah, we've just done the walls, now we're going to go along with the doors. Let's see what this looks like here. And yeah, that's going to go up nicely. 
even without a pillar at the end there it kind of is going to sit in the walls obviously we'll stick some doors in there when we're done there's quite a lot of materials that go into this wall okay now we add the doors I think we might have to jump for this one but yeah just having the wood and the metal just gives us a slightly different effect so it doesn't look like doors when it's all stacked up from a distance. This design I've done quite a few times. And up here. Now we need to do the roof. Okay, so I haven't got a flyer on this map and we're just doing this for the tutorial. But if it just so happens, and this is your early build for an early wall, you just need to use a ceiling to get up on top here. So let's just jump and place the ceiling. There we go. So we can always get it up four high and just use the ladders to get ourselves up there. Like so, I think we should be able to jump up here. We can. But that's not exactly where we want the wall. I just use that to get up here. What we want to do is put two ceilings on each post here so it sticks out a good two feet away and uh, just pick these up if we can oh. I think I was going to pick up the wrong ceiling then um, let's just get rid of these and demolish that So yeah, we're just placing them on top of the stone pillars here. All the way along to the long end here. And this is going to make our walkway. Ooh, that one's just clicked slightly wrong, I can see it's just out of place. Okay, so we've managed to finish the ceiling and we need to do the same trick with our fence foundations. Now you can see a little bit easier with the stone ceilings as opposed to the fence foundation as to where the posts are going, but there's a few different clip points. I'm just going to stick one in on the corner there because of the way the wall face is, but we want to find the inside. So that's the outside, we can see quite easily, but there we go, there's the inside. So we need to do that all along the edge of this wall and repeat it on the other side just as we did on the lower foundations. Okay, so we managed to get the foundations in. As you can see, they are visible through here, but now we can clip our pillars in. They just sit over the foundations like so starting to give that castle wall effect here quite easily clipping these in and I'll just put some more ladders up here so we can get up on the other side yeah I've done this I think we can clip one in the end that'll look good there I've done this build quite a few times um, originally I did a Lord of the Rings build, a um, Isengard build, and we kind of use this effect and sort of build it up like a, a birthday cake that was stacked and just kept on going and it looked really effective, used um, metal as opposed to the stone and uh, kind of wish I had a little bit of footage of that base you now where I had a save from it because I did spend quite a bit time doing that back in the day. Um, there we go. We can get one more in. Okay, so that's mirrored on that side. And we need to get some fence posts. Or stone railings out rather. And there's a couple of clipping points here. I just clip them to the foundations rather than the outer side. Oh, 
see that one went to the outside. But it's starting to come together now. Let's repeat that on the other side. Okay, so with all your railings done, now's the time to put on the roof. And we're basically just going to extend these fence posts off of the top of the ones that are lower down. So, there we go. And we want these too high. Now, ceilings will only go out by three. So, if we put that here, they can come out three from that side. And we can do a line of six. So, if your wall ends up being bigger, you're going to have to put some more. Just a some more fence posts in you're making it longer than this but it every six or every three you need to be able to work to but yeah it kind of works out in the end you will see what I mean when you build it right well I was hoping to keep this build along to less than 20 minutes but looking at my clock it seems I may have run over so I'm gonna have to cut this down a bit but um, yep we just want to place our flat ceilings on top of these posts here and I think I've clipped that. Yeah, it's too far over. There's two clipping points. I was clipped on the wrong one. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. It looks more to one side than the other. And yeah, it was clipped on top of that ceiling because it fell down then. So let's just use the wood, the wooden cross as a sort of guide. I think that's okay. I'm not sure if I've just placed it exactly where it was. But yeah, we're just trying to put a little bit of a triangle roof on. Don't forget to let me know down below what you thought of the guide. Let's say a couple of you thought you'd missed a little bit of an episode because I actually cut this out of... I cut a lot out of the complete series really, we we miss quite a bit of the grind that's involved but um, as you can see building the wall takes quite a bit of time even when you've got all the resources to hand. I was hoping to try and do this in less than 20 minutes but it won't work, it didn't go that way. Okay so we should be able to go out three more ceilings from here, one, two, And three. Oh, and now, because I've put them other fence posts down, it's sensing that that's the next foundation. So if you're making it longer, you just need to place some more of those posts. No, no further than three or six, it works. And there we go. That's good. Got our roof on. Yeah, all done. Just need to get rid of these ladders on the inside. Can I jump on the inside? No, it won't let me. Okay, I just need to get a stone railing up the top there and get rid of that ladder. But yeah, that is the castle wall build. Done without any mods, so anybody can follow along to this one. And I suppose from a distance it might, it might not look as impressive, but it's something that I do quite a bit. Now, as you'll notice, I've made some large vaults and they clip into these walls just sort of perfectly. Now, I've got my vaults in, this is how I've been stacking up the hide and uh, they go really well inside these walls, so just thought I'd show that. It's a really good way to stack up your hide and shove, have, hide some vaults and make these walls actually useful in another way. But uh, let's just put our railings. I need to get rid of that ladder as well. And just stick this here. And I guess we'll have to just climb up the top. Smash it from here. Demolish, demolish it from here. And there we go. That's the castle wall done. 
And like I say, try going with metal foundations or even adobe. I think that might be quite interesting. Mixing it up a little bit. And just forgot to put our gate on. And there we are. So we've deliberately built this on this corner here. Just to sort of show you that it doesn't have to be straight. You can bend the wall and you can kind of envision how this would fit around most bases. But uh, yeah, from up here it looks like a, a real fortification. I'm liking it. But just realised I've missed my finishing touch. If you'll notice on the right hand side one, the posts have got some teeth on them. And um, this is another trick that I used on the Isengard build. I was using gravestones, so we need to go and put our finishing touch on. I don't really use gravestones for much else other than uh, using it as teeth on the ends of these uh, pillars as a trick. Let's just get a ladder back up there. Now I didn't do this bit on the island build. Um, but I will do it here just to give you another example of how we can make this look a little bit more menacing. Now we're limited to 150 gravestones in one area. So, and you'll see, uh, well, yeah, I've got 100 here, let's just take 50. So that'll give us plenty of space to put them up here. Uh, right. So yeah, again, you've got to kind of eyeball it, but we try and get them in the centre. And yeah, it kind of gives it uh, a different effect. Kind of looks like you could shoot arrows from between the pillars and it's like a little bit of protection. It just gives it a slightly different look. There you go, that's how I built the walls on the island map and uh, I hope that answered a couple of your questions. Sorry we haven't been able to get another episode of the Complete the Ark done but it's largely been gathering hide and metal. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content so far. I am starting to do these build guides more regularly and uh, it'd be great to have you on board. But yeah, let's come down and have a look from the outside. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. See ya.